Welcome to ME160 Engineering Drawing Part 6 Development Section 2 Learning Objectives To be able to apply auxiliary projections to 1. Determine true length and point view of a line Determine true shape and edge view of a plane and three, determine diahedral angle between two planes. Learning objective 2.1. Be able to apply auxiliary, apply auxiliary projection to determine the true length and point view of a line. True length of a line. Here we have two views. That is the top, the front view on top, and then the bottom view or the top view beneath. The true length of a line can be determined when the projector is, perpendic is projected perpendicular to the line. So for the front view, these are the possibilities that can exist. Projecting perpendicular to AB in the front view has two possibilities. One, two, Likewise, projected perpendicular to AB in the top view also has two possibilities, that direction, three and four. So we have four possibilities. True length of a line. Example, here we have the two views, the front view on top, and then the plan which is beneath. Now, for us, this is the vector perpendicular to AB in the plan. So that is AP because it is inclined. Now, under that, we need a mutual view. And that here provided is the front view. And we need a mutual projector to produce the mutual view that is in that direction vertically. Then we need to introduce a reference plane XY. XY has been introduced here through the point A, which means in measuring the distances, they are going to be negative because A is zero, but B is beneath XY, and according to MP, it's in the opposite direction, therefore negative. Then we need to introduce x1, y1 reference plane that is perpendicular to AP. Then we now take our points of projection. A, on projecting A from the plan, we look at its distance in the front view or the mutual view with respect to x, y. Here, in the mutual view, A is on x, y, so the distance is zero. Then we project B on the, on the plan. Then again, we look at the distance of B in the mutual view with respect to x, y. It is minus the negative. Therefore, when we go to our projector B, we take a minus, so it's in the opposite direction to AP. Then we get point B. Therefore, the line AB is now drawn, and that is the true length of the line we have. Point view of an edge. The point view of an edge is obtained only when the projection is along the true length view of the line. Take a look at the following views. One, two, three. Here we have three views. To the left, we have the right side view. Then to the right inclined line, that's the front view. And then beneath is the plan. A projection on the right side view perpendicular to the line AB will give us the front view. 
and projecting perpendicular to AB in the top view will also yield the front view. Since these projections are all perpendicular to the line AB, that is in the left side view, in the right side view, and the top view, the front view must therefore be a true length. Now, if we project along AB in the front view, which is an auxiliary projection because it is inclined, the result of this should be a point. But how do we get it? We need a mutual view, which we could take either the top view or the right side view. Here, the top view has been picked and obeying the principle and projection, mutual projector, and we project, we should get a point view. Likewise, here we have AB, AB, AB. So this time we have the left side view, the front view, and the top view. Now, a projection perpendicular to the front view, projection TV, will give us the top view. Since the projection is perpendicular over there, the top view must be a true length. Therefore, if we project along that line, AB, in the top view, in the directions shown, since that is a true length, the projection AP must produce a point view. And for an auxiliary projection, we need a mutual view. So looking for a mutual view from that, that should be the mutual view. You can't take the right side view because that is not a mutual view to the plan. And the mutual projector, and then projecting along AP, that will give us the point AB. End of part 2.1.